Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial. I'm Eric um, here at Tri-C Anthropology and I'm going to be walking you through today how to download um, educational games from our um, itch.io or itch.io as it's commonly known uh, webpage um, for when you'll be playing any of the games um, for the classes. Um, in this particular case we'll be looking at the game B Horizon. Um, so you'll want to navigate to itch.io and then search for the anthropology page or if you just typed in anthropology.itch.io it'll also take you to this page as well um, but this is our page for Tri-C Anthropology um, it'll probably be updated from time to time with new games right now we only have one it's B Horizon but there will be other ones forthcoming um, and if we click on B Horizon it'll take us to a download page here um, and you can see here's just a little thumbnail of the game um, description and whatnot um, and I can even get more information down here um, but we're gonna want to download the game so I'll click download now it's gonna prompt you to donate money you don't have to donate any money I put it there as an option both for legal and ethical reasons um, can't make my students pay for the game um, especially since it's a game that I helped develop um, but I can ask you for a donation for specific charities um, that help support um, programming like this and educational content like this so you can just say no thanks um, just take me to the download you'll get sent to a page that's like this um, and then it'll give you um, an option for two different downloads because there's two different files on here there's one for the PC version and there's one for the Mac version um, the PC version obviously if you have a PC and it will notice that they both have .zip which means they're compressed files which means when we um, download them we're going to need to extract them so I have a PC so I'm going to click download the PC version um, we can save that any old place let's pick a spot in here um, go to Ohio Archaeology. That's probably a good spot to save it. Save. It's downloading. So I went ahead and, and uh, fast forwarded, skipped over the download. Um, then we're going to click open just to see where it saved it to. So this is where we saved it to. Um, it'll probably need to be extracted. Yeah, so we can see it's still zipped here. Um, so if we click extract all, we can ask them to show extracted files or we can browse if we want to put it somewhere else so if we have another location that we want to save it to we can select it there we're just going to have it extract to the folder that it's already named to be horizon so i'm going to click extract okay so here we are uh with the extracted game so if i click on it and inside the folder now it's you can see it's kind of redundant here because if we go out to be horizon be horizon 1.4 pc I gotta extract it again because we didn't specify a different folder or change the name of it so it's made a folder called bhorizon 1.4 pc and so when we extracted it it created two folders with the same name so just an extra step there that we could have cut out there um, but you'll see a few things here you'll see it says game inventory library renpy this was developed using a piece of software called renpy um, and then we'll also want to look over here at type so this uh, we've got file folders application Python file sh file so you'll see the one that says application that's the one we want because that's going to be the actual game the game is an application all this other stuff is just complementary uh, data that the application needs to run so if I click double click on B horizon it's going to launch and we even get audio with it too right so here we are with B horizon um, it's launched Pretty much, if you've never used a RenPy based uh, visual novel style game and you've never played a game like this, um, you'll just pretty much get rolling with it by clicking start. You could load previous saves if you need to go through preferences, music volumes in here as well. You can turn the music off, sound volume. Um, this version doesn't have any sound at the moment, it's all dialogue based. Um, then we click return to return back to things. Um, and then when we're in the game itself, you'll see this is pretty much the layout of how a game like this is going to work. Um, mostly text-based uh, with some decision trees involved as well but once we start clicking on things you'll see I've got decisions that I can make here I can click on them if I ever need to go back and I will look at other decisions I can click on the back button uh, and then I got all these other options down here looking at my saves auto saves skipping so if I want to play through a specific scenario again and I want to look at different options so maybe I click the first option instead of the second option uh, to see what what happens in the, in the branching decisions there uh, I can always go back and then skip forward to fast forward to the decision that I want to change um, so that's basically it in a nutshell there's going to be a few options uh, throughout the game where you're going to be able to in enter data or input something with your keyboard uh, and then it's going to parse the text to figure out what the solution is going to be based on what you input um, all that's fancy code talk for saying you're going to type in 
a response or a solution um, when prompted in the game. But that's basically how you're going to open up uh, the educational game uh, from itch.io or itch.io. Um, and hopefully that helps you get prepared. And hopefully you'll enjoy Bee Horizon or any other games that Trice Anthropology offers. And you'll be able to learn something out of them. And if you enjoyed content like this, then be sure to donate to any of the charities listed in the description below. Um, those uh, charities are what make anthropologists like myself and the anthropological content that you've seen here possible. Um, so please consider donating to those charities in the description below. Uh, and remember, never stop learning.